What's going on everybody? Quake here with a quick video. Today we got a new build on the dev channel for the Windows 10 Insider Preview Program and it is build 21370 and with it it's a very very minute on top of bug fixes very very minute fixes and updates. Um, one of the updates specifically as they list here is improving the Bluetooth the audio experience and basically in a summary what they mean here is in these pictures here, you see before when you had something like the Surface earbuds or the Surface headphones on and some other earbuds, you'd get two different types of audio devices, audio sources. You get the hands-free AG audio, which is mainly for like using the microphone for video calls and talking to people. And then you get the Surface headphones or the stereo part of it. So you'd get the hands-free AG audio and then you get the stereo and you'd have both of them listed on your volume pane right here. And now it is streamlined. It is now just stereo or the AG audio hands-free. And basically what they're doing here is they are automating what task you're working on and it'll automatically switch on the fly uh, between stereo and the hands-free AG audio. So if you're in a Teams call, for example, is their example, uh, and you're talking to somebody, it'll automatically know to swap to hands-free AG audio versus stereo when you're listening to music and that's basically the big change for the build but there's a few other things that happen here so they say here unified audio endpoint says not basically a summary of what i just said not really you don't have to click through uh picking the endpoint that's what they call it it just swaps and then another thing they have a support for um, aac audio codec which for listening to music on bluetooth headphones is advanced audio codec and they let you see what that really means so those are like the major major changes in this build um, there is another change in this build as well and basically that relates to the touch keyboard so in the touch keyboard you can see here currently it shows see the layout there you got to be under the default layout for this change and basically what happens is when you are in the run command which is windows key r uh, the touch keyboard when you bring up the touch keyboard it now automatically shows the backslash. So versus if I open up Brave Browser and I click that, you see the backslash goes away. When I let the run command be the in focus, you see that backslash appears because you're going to use backslash when you use the run command. And that's pretty much the big changes in this build. The rest is all mainly bug fixes and some improvements to news and interests and just fixing other things. It says here, fixing issue resulting in some insiders seeing the error when installing cumulative update preview for .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.8. That is a thing that I have an issue with currently and now it is fixed. Um, and then there's some other bug fixes as shown below, such as narrator wasn't announcing the error message on the login screen after entering wrong password multiple times. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to let keep these uh, insider update videos a lot shorter than they used to be just because um, I can kind of get really nitty gritty if I show like all of the little fixes in there. Uh, maybe in the future I'll do more of a rambly component on here. Um, but that's about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as usual. And if you have any issues with this build, I'm very curious on what issues you found. I know the last build, somebody said they couldn't print. And so that's kind of significant, especially when you have to work. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and take care.